Galls are quite prominent growths, sometimes unusual shapes and bright colours, found in a wide range of plants. Some of them can be harmful, such as ergots that are found on grasses, and they were made into bread in past times, causing quite dramatic hallucinogenic experiences. Sometimes they can be very useful, like the well-known root nodules that's found on clover. They fix nitrogen from the air and help the plant considerably. They're also peculiar in that, that the red colour is haemoglobin, same substance as found in human blood. Part of it's made by the bacterium within the nodule and part by the, cl part by the clover plant. In general, they're caused by insects, fungi, viruses and bacteria. One well-known one, often mistakenly called the oak apple, is properly called the oak marble. It was introduced into this country. It was found on oaks and was used for making ink. The structures themselves are usually protective, that is they are the host to the next generation of the, the causa of the gall itself. You often find protective chambers with inside the gall, such as the very obvious ones inside the oak marble galls. The peculiar thing is that the gall is created by the host, that is usually the plant, but is caused by the inducer. So the organism that is using the structure and forming the gall is not actually using any of its own energy. It entirely re relies upon the resources of the host. They are frequently found on oaks. A whole range of different galls are present. Spangle galls is one which is found underneath the leaf, which is very common. They often have extremely complex life cycles, and sometimes one particular organism will have two quite different sorts of galls forming. They are always being introduced into the country and spreading north, possibly with global warming, such as the, the Nopper gall and the Alder Tongue gall.